Hi, my name is Jason and in today's short video, we will be looking at my Longines Heritage flagship. Uh, this is seen here in the aftermarket strap that I've got. It comes in a vintage style size, vintage style. Longines has got a huge library of designs that you can tap on and modernize it as it has done through its heritage lines very sharp indices and the hour and the minute hands very sharp we see a uh, small seconds hand as well as a date window at the six o'clock the long jeans marker is applied guilt hands guilt hands is the word okay let me try to take the measurement okay so the case diameter we are just looking at 38 millimeter case diameter about 38 millimeter case diameter luck to luck we are looking at 47 almost the same dimensions as the uh seagull 1963 just that this is much flatter houses a eta movement and reveals a stunning stunning flagship logo at the case on the case back swiss made this is the L47954 reference number if you're interested. Just look at the flagship. Although I need to ask you, can you show off this to your friends if you don't take off your watch? Questions that we must ask ourselves. All right, very slim. I think it is is like about 11.5 and that's because of the extruding part of the uh, oh my that's because of the oh it's only 10.5 it's only a 10.5 millimeters thickness because of the very flat crystal so far I do not regret wearing it although it is a bit uh, pricey it is not a Seiko Presage, of course. I bought a Longines because of the connection I had with the brand because my father was gifted a Longines for his long service with the port, but I just left the watch on the table in school and then it got taken away and was never found. Sad. Right. So I'll just leave it here for a while and then I will move on to the next watch, archive, watch archiving video. Cheers.